It has this extra sexy, dirty, ambergris kind of quality that puts it into another category for me. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here today. I wanna to do a little review on this King Fragrances Monarch by the House of King Fragrances. I actually did like a little sample review of this house and I actually really liked it. I got some bigger samples of this one Monarch and I believe one of their copies of Layton. To be honest guys, I've smelled so many versions of Aventus and most of the ones created by these niche houses are very, very good. In my opinion, Aventus does not cost that much to recreate and it's such a popular fragrance that most of these places just nail it. So although this fragrance smelled good, I smelled it once and I was like, oh man, like it's great. I've just smelled Aventus so many times and they all smell good. But one of my subscribers wrote down below that he likes the way that King Fragrances does uh, this Monarch and then also Layton. And I did notice when I was first reviewing those King Fragrances, some of them seemed like they did have a little special bite to them, something that seemed like they were a little bit more of a cologne it smelt like they copied the fragrance, but they also put a little bit of a touch on it so it felt more like a cologne. It was hard to describe, but I actually liked it. And I kind of agree with him right here. I'll get more into it with the pros and cons, but this fragrance definitely does have a special unique bite to it that I really like. This is supposed to copy the 13ZZ Batch of Aventus, which is supposed to be the most popular. And from my understanding, it is a little bit higher projecting and it has a little bit more of this smoky quality to it. And I'll get more to that to the pros and cons. So the notes of the original Aventus are pineapple, birch, bergamot, black currant, apple, patchouli, Moroccan jasmine, rose. I never smelled rose at all in Aventus, but I guess it's in here. Rose, musk, oak moss, ambergris, and vanilla. <sighs> Real quick to me, I kind of think Aventus is this pineapple, birch, black currant, musk, and vanilla. That's, that's kind of what I really smell in it. And it, it kind of blends together to where you don't really smell too much. The main thing you smell is that pineapple, but the way the birch, the black currant, the vanilla all blend, it kind of has its own smell and it smells very good here. All right, guys, let's jump into the pros of this fragrance. The pros is that it is very, very good quality, very similar to the quality that other niche houses have. Almost every high quality oil house has a good quality of interest, and this one is absolutely no different absolutely love it it also has pretty good projection and i gotta say aventus is a fragrance that i go nose blind on for some reason i just can't smell it i do think this one and other aventus clones have higher projection as well but for some reason it's something hard for me to smell because i don't smell it on myself for that long but at the same time people will say that they'll smell it on me so it's kind of hard to pin down the projection but this has that very, very good projection, which kind of goes in line with that 13ZZ story. And then the last pro and my favorite part of this fragrance is that it has this extra sexy, dirty, ambergris kind of quality that puts it into another category for me. I really, really enjoy this fragrance. It's very, very close to Aventus, but there is something about it that, like I said, just has a little extra oomph of it feels like ambergris, it feels like dirtiness, but in a good way, like this dirty, sexy vibe. And I actually really, really do enjoy it. And it's crazy that right when I spelled this, I was like, oh man, another Aventus clone. And then I dive in and it really does have a nice extra bite to it that I haven't really smelled in other any other versions of Aventus. So this has a really nice, sexy, dirty, ambergris vibe to it that's still smells like Aventus, but it's just like 5%, maybe 10%. And I actually like it because I think it gives it more of an edge. All right, guys, the cons to this fragrance, I really don't have any. I mean, Aventus is a great smelling fragrance. It gets lots of compliments. And then this house does things in a high quality. So there's very little to say. Um, the only thing I would say is that if you want a dead on clone of Aventus, Maybe not this one because they added that extra little bit in there. But like I said, I'm kind of torn because I really, really like that extra dirty, sexy quality or whatever it is. I just really like it. And it makes me kind of want to wear this a little more because it's one of the only Aventus clones that has that extra vibe for me. And then the other only con is that, I mean, Aventus has been done to death. So it's been copied millions and millions of times. So it is a fragrance that you know, anybody really getting into the game has smelled, but besides that, I really don't have any cons with this fragrance. 
Um, if I was to give a few situations, it's pretty much a vintage, so it works in all the, all the main situations. Probably great for work, um, great as an everyday kind of hot weather fragrance, great for like an outdoor day date, uh, not the best for the evening, things like that. Probably pretty good for the gym, although I would go one spray because this is pretty strong. Very similar to Aventus. I'd give it a smell rating of an 8.5. Really, really solid. Really like this stuff. Uh, Likeability, I'm going to give it a solid 8.5 as well. Everyone likes Aventus. I like Aventus. And then longevity and projection, I'd give it a 7.5, a 2 and 8. I actually might bump it up to an 8 because, like I said, I do go nose blind on this one. And I've also done a review on Central Obsession's King of Kings. And I got good projection out of that, but it wasn't like beast mode, you know, blowing my mind. But then somebody commented and was like, you're the only person that's ever said this fragrance isn't beast mode because it lasts so long. And I think that's because I go nose blind to it. But anyways, guys, have you tried King Fragrances Monarch? What is your favorite Aventus clone? I'd be very interested to see down below. I still have not tried out Pineapple Vintage, but uh, let me know if I should try that one out down below. I'd be very interested to see. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I could not do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.